Great. So describe your life before you joined ICBI. So I, I come from a simple uh, Jain Marwadi family, brought up, in, brought up in a very secured environment uh, with my four sisters, where our parents always uh, you know, taught us ethics and values and taught us to live a very uh, happy, content and disciplined life. So after completing graduation, I got married and for eight years, I was a complete homemaker. Uh, in 2006, I started helping my dad in his business uh, there were two reasons. One was that he was aging and I, I wanted to be that beta of Papa uh, because I only had knowledge of his business and general insurance industry. And the second was that I was always good in studies. So uh, I thought I was not using my potential or my qualities or skills. So put, to put them into use, I thought I would learn something and I would use my time productively. So till 2014, I was doing that. Then I started an entrepreneurship venture, but I didn't succeed in that. In 2017, because of some tough decision that I took in my life, I had to uh, sustain myself. I had to be financially independent. And I think in 20, December 2016, I joined ICBI and I embarked upon a new chapter and a new journey in my life. And there's no looking back. So why ICBI so, is my ne next question. Out of all the other things, you could have gone into insurance or you could have done that full fledged, you know, as a full time profession. So, ICBI can't say I Right. So, in my life, I think it ICBI is uh, is was it was destined. I, I'll say. Uh, I'll not say that I was inspired because uh, when I was in school, I wanted to become a chartered accountant or a CS or wanted to do my dad's business. But it was destined that. I never thought that I would become a soft skill trainer or an image consultant or a coach. So I believe that we all uh, come across some crossroads in life and we get stuck and uh, we find it difficult to choose the path. So I was at such crossroad in my life where I had to take a tough decision and I had to be out of my comfort zone. So uh, I was introspecting and I was trying to assess my skill set. I realized that I had very good communication skills since childhood. I was a bubbly child. I, I used to carry myself well. So I thought, why don't I hone these existing, you know, skill set of mine and I hone these skills and I become a trainer and help others learn those skills. So after a lot of introspection, I came across ICBI and I took a loan from my father and I just plunged into this journey uh, and the rest is all history. So I would say it was destined, uh, it was situational in my life, but I am super blessed. I am I am uh, so happy and uh, satisfied with my life, I can say, after joining ICBI and the life that I have lived. Never, never. I wanted to become a teacher. So my board pe likhti thi, you know, on the wardrobe, I sare chalk se likhti thi, and mummy used to get so angry. Ki rose usko. So I would be a teacher. That that's what I thought when I was in UKG or class one. Then when I was in class twelve, I thought I would be a chartered accountant. But I never dreamt in my life that I would be transforming other lives like this. I would be a mentor and coach for few people and I would make a difference in others' lives. I never thought, I never dreamt about it. But if you come to think of it, even a soft skills trainer is somewhat a teacher. Yes. You are yes. teaching skills. <laughs> yes. So, so I think God gives you, you a uh, teacher to teacher. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, so I think aspect of when your we, dream got fulfilled. Yeah, I think when we ask uh, for something to God, uh, he may give in other forms, yeah. not exactly the way you want it, but he, he may give you in other forms and maybe those forms are better, better for us. Absolutely. I believe in that. A, a more uh, refined version of teacher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, uh, describe your classroom experience when you were a learner in ICBI classroom, how was your first day in the classroom when you entered? Was it like overwhelming because you had, see in ICBI classroom, you you never have people of the same age group. Somebody's older, somebody's younger, somebody has more experience, somebody has less experience. 
So you always see a lot of variety and versatility when it comes to different age groups, different genders in the classroom. So you'll have uh, an elderly person, you'll have a younger person, you'll have somebody who is a homemaker, somebody who is a working professional. So how was your experience when you entered the classroom for the first time? Dar laga tha ya comfortable laga tha sabse pehle classroom mein jaake? Dar to laga tha. Definitely, I was a little nervous uh, because being a homemaker and just doing a part-time business for 14, 15 years and plunging into this field was a, was totally a new thing for me. It was a mystery for me. I didn't know whether I would succeed, but I just plunged into it. So first and foremost, uh, I think uh, I was a very dedicated student. Jo banda strikes maybe school jata tha. So I used to love going to school and I enjoyed my classrooms. So last 1998, may I had been to my classroom in my college, South City College. So after 19 years, coming to a classroom was definitely overwhelming for me. I really enjoyed it. I was thrilled about it. And the most important thing was that uh, in those eight hours in the classroom, I wouldn't be concerned about the world. I wouldn't think about a single problem of my life. I wouldn't think about my daughter or my family. It was only that I am a student here. I have to be focused 100%. I have to learn. I have to implement. And then I have to practice before I preach to others. So the excitement was very high. Second thing was that the trainers and the facilitators at ICBI, they were so warm. They, they, were, they were so helpful and friendly approachable that I never felt uh, no, I, I, I never felt that fear of, of asking them questions or uh, sharing honestly what my, what my weaknesses were. So I think the facilitation, the support, the help, the love and warmth of the teachers added a lot of uh, you know happiness and uh, excitement to it. Thirdly the students yes so our batch was a, a diverse group, different communities, different age groups, different experience, different backgrounds. So uh, Anvesha was there. She was uh, 19 or 20 and my daughter was 17. So I was ICBI ki ma for her. And there were other friends where, you would, where we would you know, uh, share a lot of our problems. And when there was sale going on, uh, we would all go to the store and line, shape, color, texture, pattern, so we would do analysis, we would buy clothes together, we would meet for coffee. So it was a very uh, uh, beautiful experience, I would say. So being a student again was very beautiful. So overall, uh, I loved my uh, classes at ICBI and I used to miss, just weekend mein nahi hota tha, I used to miss ki, oh, aaj kyun nahi hai class. So it was like that. So as a soft skills trainer, uh, what have you accomplished after you have acquired your certification? I mean, what kind of work have you been doing? Because I keep seeing your post and, you know, you have been doing a lot of activities and things like that. So tell us now in very clear words that what exactly have you been doing after you have become a soft skills trainer? I think whoever I am today, whatever I have achieved, I, I am indebted to ICBI and of course my beautiful supportive family, my parents, my father especially. I am because he is. I always quote that. That is very true. So today whatever I am, whoever I am, whatever I have achieved, ICBI, ICBI my parents and my family and of, of course few friends who are always there for me. So just to start, uh, uh, to build the base, I started uh, doing sessions in my Jain community because mm -hmm. I had no exposure to corporate world. I was a homemaker. I had no database. I had no, uh, no, you know, no, no connects that where I could start. So I started from my own Jain community. I started doing small, small sessions. Most of them were voluntary, were complimentary because day one, uh, you know, the corporates are not waiting, Kishashi, we were waiting for you. Oh, you have become a trainer, Ajao, Hamare Yampi training karlo, right? So you need three years, three to four years to build your base. So I started from there and my work started getting recognition. Gradually it led me to many corporates, individuals, NGOs, institutions. So after that, I think uh, in three years, uh, not in three years, two years, I received uh, an award of 
uh, exceptional women of excellence at women economic forum as uh, you know as a trainer for my contribution to the society i was also awarded by terapan mahila mandal for as a trainer and educator on uh, women's day i was awarded by bni as wonder woman then i think the most beautiful thing that happened was that my story was featured in a book called magical 40 at 40 which is a compilation of uh, uh, stories of women who struggled a lot and created a something a beautiful uh, you know platform themselves or did something worthwhile so my story was featured there and then i was awarded as change maker by career after family enterprise and there are many more accolades and awards i was also invited as speaker by uh, army wise welfare association for the event uh, called asmita where i shared my inspiring journey so all these wouldn't have happened uh, without me being a trainer and adding that currently i am the chief secretary of jain international traders organization ladies wing it's an org organization it's a women centric organization of 800 plus women today i uh, we run projects for upskilling and upgrading women so my dream of women empowerment is getting fulfilled through this uh, designation or the responsibility that i have got so all these are because of my training career and because of uh, my soft skill uh, uh, you know so abilities and yes absolutely absolutely and do you see soft skills as the next big industry and the scope for soft skills because i feel that soft skills definitely is the essential skills and do you see that people can excel in this field going forward definitely ma'am uh, so uh, let me share my own experience uh, first time when i was going for a corporate training i was very apprehensive i was nervous honestly because i thought are ye log to 20 20 25 25 saal se naukri kar rahe hain i am just 2 3 years into this industry into training so wo to mujhse zyada hi jante honge they know it all will they listen to me will i be able to add some value so i went with all such apprehension but i was presently surprised when i went for the training i saw even the ceo or the directors they didn't know how to exchange a visiting card they didn't know how to shake hands uh, the basic hygiene was missing forget about power dressing the levels of dressing blazer accessorizing just forget all that the basic hygiene part was also missing the people didn't even know how to which shoes to wear you know so the basic soft skills were missing big time and i realized no uh, you know we need it and i i was very happy when uh, when few people who were full of air they thought they know it all but the, at the end of the session when they shared that they learned a lot and they shared their takeaways i think it was a uh, it was a great moment as a trainer for me so right. soft skills is required everywhere it is not just for professionals so if i give a, a very common example don't we communicate with the milkman with our maids with our domestic helps uh, you know we are communicating at every single point so what is soft skill it is communication it is behavior it is respect it is etiquette it is kindness nothing else it's just a term given for humanity is what i believe so if you are a good human being if you are kind if you are empathetic then you have soft skills in first in in place if you respect yourself you respect others so don't we need this we need this in our personal professional and social life so it is required everywhere and there is dearth of soft skills whenever i go out and abhi hum trainer ban jate to hame sab kuch dikhte rehta hai observe observation chalte rehta hai it is subconscious so it keeps happening and i see uh, you know how people are stirring uh, sugar like when they are mixing sugar how they are stirring and they are making noise so i feel are रुक जाओ ऐसे मत करो बट देन आई रिमेम्बर आईसीबीआई में बोला गया था ज्ञान तब तक मत दो जब तक उसके पैसे ना मिले जस्ट ऑन द लाइटेस्ट साइड बट डोंट एडवाइस समन अननेसेसरीली इल समन आस्क फॉर इट और मे बी इफ यू हैव द रिलेशनशिप देन यू कैन डू इट सो टू सम इट अप आई थिंक सॉफ्ट स्किल्स आर रिक्वायर्ड इन ऑल फेयर्स ऑफ लाइफ and uh, there is this dearth and we need to include it in the curriculum itself in the educational institutions uh, it is increasing the awareness is increasing uh, but we need to do more i i feel that soft skills definitely is the need of the hour 
and it's not necessary that only if you are working if you are a working right. professional or if you are working in a corporate only then you need soft skills soft skills is required even if you are not working even if you are a homemaker even if you are a student you need soft skills at any given point of time if you are a homemaker you need soft skills to manage your social life to manage your personal life to manage your life with your spouse with your children in your social circle even then you need soft skills it is not necessary that you need to have soft skills only for a professional situation soft skills are required even otherwise in your day to day life you need soft skills so soft skills today are known as essential skills and that is why it is always said that soft skills has become a mandatory requirement and that is why government is promoting soft skills even now cbse schools i mean in north are gradually introducing soft skills in you know their curriculum so that children from now itself start learning soft skills so that they are familiar with the concepts and the theory of soft skills so that they can implement and they become a part and parcel of soft skills going forward just to add to that ma'am uh, uh, two years back during pandemic with a friend of mine we started a project called beyond books for unprivileged children in the doaz region so the the purpose was to teach them life skills soft skills is nothing but life skills and people skills so we taught them how to accept failure how to be happy how to do affirmations how to be grateful because they they don't even uh, get two meals in a day so unko bahut badi badi cheeze sikhane se koi fayda nahi tha it was to teach them life skills so it was a beautiful program with parichay uh ek pehchan so we we taught the children and in 6 months you could see the difference in them the way they used to stand up and greet the smile it was a big transformation and in 6 months when others visited the centers they they really asked that how did this transformation happen so life skills soft skills are very important and it is not only for the affluent it is not for the, the rich and famous it is not a show off it is you respecting yourself just, just and respecting that, that in imta image management professionals association the association for image consultants we have done soft skills training for jail inmates jajjar jail tihar jail where before they actually get released from jail they are given training in soft skills so that they get better wages when they are you know out in the market you know so that they they know how to behave themselves they know how to uh, have mannerisms they know how to have proper etiquette so that they get proper employment you know and that is the reason why soft skills are introduced grooming is introduced before they you know get out of jail that is their plus we also mm-hmm. introduce made in heaven made in heaven is a concept which is very mm-hmm. popular uh, which is only for the house help m a i d made in heaven so that is for specifically for house help housemates so that is taught to them basic housekeeping mannerisms grooming so that they get better wages so so many things are happening it's not that see a lot of people think that you know these concepts are only for the hnis the rich and famous but this is not the case soft skills is the need of the hour even for people who are looking for a job for promotion at the entry level jobs everybody has similar qualification but what sets you apart from the rest is your soft skills so soft skills ke bina to kuch nahi ho sakta aaj aaj research ye prove karti hai your harvard your stanford research institute everybody says that 85% of your success is attributed to your soft skills only 15 to 20% is given to your hard skills so that itself proves that soft skills today is mandatory skill it is the need of the hour aur koi kya bolega jab harvard ne bol diya stanford research institute ne bol diya to fir aur koi kya bole that is why soft skills are so much in demand so much in demand that you can't even say anything else about it totally agree ma'am and that initiative 
live with the jail, uh, no, it was, it, it's amazing, I think. Yeah, beautiful. Credit with Jagir Jail, Tihar Jail, we are still in talks with many other, uh, you know, people, and we still want to continue this initiative going forward. And we are now doing a lot of work in Pune for different people who have various kind of addiction. In fact, technology addiction is one addiction where we are using soft skills to de-addict these people. Mobile addiction, uh, gaming addiction. So they are the ones who are now getting de-addicted through soft skills. So why do you think, uh, according to you, that soft skills is the most crucial skill in comparison to hard skill. Although we have already discussed this now. But yes. do you have any different perspective about it? No ma'am, I totally agree with you and as you said, Stanford and Harvard, they have proved it, they have research, uh, you know, proof. So, uh, but definitely I think I have experienced that in my own life and I think soft skills complement technical skills and hard skills. Definitely, if you are, if you are a civil engineer, you need that technical skill, that hard skill. But I think the, where hard skills are finished, there is a soft skill door. Because, uh, you know, uh, Soft skills can take you, uh, can open doors that the best education cannot. I think as a person, I want to work with someone, I want to collaborate even as a trainer or for some other work. I want to uh, collaborate with someone with whom I have compatibility, where I have trust, where, where I, it's easy to communicate, where I have camaraderie, right? Uh, our thoughts match. And I think a person has to be a very good human being and has to have his or her etiquette in place when I work with someone. So that's my personal uh, view. Uh, but I think, uh, let's take an example. So we, if, if we have two candidates for a position, or maybe we are two hiring two domestic, uh, one domestic help in our house for, uh, you know, uh, homemakers, I'm giving this example. So if two are coming, two candidates are coming in front of you, one is, uh, so both, suppose both are from IIT, they are engineers, same grades, same qualification, but some one of them has good communication skills, is more presentable, right. is more confident, has a steady eye contact, has a very good posture, looks confident. And the other person, maybe his grades may be higher, but he may be more intelligent, the intellect may be higher, but he's lacking in communication skills, confidence, humanity, empathy, leadership, then whom will you hire? Definitely the first option. So it's very clear that uh, definitely soft skills and uh, hard skills complement each other. Technical skills is required. We cannot undermine that. But soft skills are equally important. So as you I said, 85% of your success. So once you reach a certain level, but if you want to upscale yourself, if you want to upgrade yourself, if you want to reach, uh, you know, go higher on the ladder, then soft skill is going to make you stand out. You may be in the sure. crowd with the technical skills, but if you want to stand out, then your soft skills is going to help you. Yeah, so yeah, uh, it cannot be undermined. They, they complement each other and now uh, it, it, it adds a lot of value. Sure, sure. Absolutely. I completely second that thought of yours, Shashi. So how do you stay relevant? I mean, this is one question I always ask all the people who come on this live uh, with me, that what is your month? to keep yourself updated okay so ma'am uh, you also know personally that my life has been a roller coaster ride uh, lots of ups and downs and at the age of 42 starting my uh, journey again it's like a second innings in life it was very tough but one thing uh, that i never left was hope mm -hmm. so uh, i think i i take challenges I accept situations, then I adapt to them, and then I evolve and grow. So I, I, I am nervous when I take a challenge. Uh, so there, there was a training coming up where there were a lot of activities and a lot of fun games, treasure hunt, and I've never done that. I've done more of classroom trainings, not any offline training or a lot of activities. And there were 350 students. So I was a little skeptical 
तो खुद ही एक नर्वसनेस आ रहा था विल आई बी एबल टू डू इट आई टर्निश माई इमेज इससे अच्छा जो आता है वही करो आई गेट इन टू इट आई मेक अस ऑफ इट एंड इट विल स्पॉयल माई फ्यूचर ऑल्सो you know the future possibilities or opportunities of doing training so uh, for one hour i just kept thinking ki chhodo shashi this is not your cup of tea nahi hoga tumse and 350 students and it's a, it was a very famous business school mba students to bacche bhi nahi hai ki you can just you uh, know kaise bhi chala loge but then you know i did research i spoke to two trainer friends and i said yaar kaise ho sakta hai should i leave this ultimately i i sent a mail and i shared my own ideas to so, ma maine apna soft skill wala bhi trainer wala bhi kuch add kar diya and two of their activities and they loved the idea they loved the idea so i could change the complete mindset uh, and i could uh, you know twist it as per my own wish of course i use soft skills again there the communication skills and all so the why i'm sharing this is we will uh, face challenges in life but we have to accept adapt and evolve and that is what i have done that uh, which has kept me updated because aap le loge to aapko karna to hai to to so karna hai to aap sikhoge either you will fail or you will learn to maine sikhai hai either you will uh, you know succeed and you learn that way also or you will learn even if you fail that's what i mean so i think i have been a constant you will fall you will fall you will stumble you will fall flat on your face you will stand up again you will dust your clothes and then you will see look and look here there kisi ne dekha nahi dekha chalo koi baat nahi aage badho koi baat nahi life goes on aur kai baar dekh bhi lete hain log aur uske baad mazak bhi hota hai fir bhi koi baat nahi life goes on sab chalta hai right life so life is the hey, biggest hey. teacher i think and uh, i can humbly say today that i have been a good student mm. uh so uh i i come from an era where biology bolte the psychology bolte the right hum uh, develop development bolte the development nahi bolte the so what i do is i learn pronunciations even today every day there are two three new words that i learn that how should i pronounce am i pro- pronouncing them correctly i i try to improve my vocabulary because there was a 15 years gap when, when i compete with other contemporary trainers then i don't have that kind of finesse or polish i i want to scale up my, myself right so i still keep learning i learn new words i improve my vocabulary i i try to learn different small small skills like we had to do an insta live so first time i went to the uh, youtube video i saw how to do it because okay, there's always the like first it. time <laughs> Yes, this is my first. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I think now I'll I'll do more. Yeah. So this was also yeah. a learning. Yeah. Last, last night I I I opened the YouTube. So I just upskill myself. I I feel that I should learn one small skill. Kya? Jitni bhi choti cheez ho, I learn one thing a day, and in three sixty five days I'll 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 be more polished. मेरे को तीन सौ पैंसठ नई चीजें आएंगी. So I think I have been a good learner. my hunger to learn my curiosity and my consistency has uh, has kept me uh, updated i think so i i i, I attend other se- uh, sessions of other speakers i go to events i observe because every speaker has his or uh, her own usp sabke delivery alag ho sakti hai uh, maybe the content is same but the style what are the things that they are using i just observe everything and i try to learn from other speakers from videos from linkedin posts so i think my learning process is always on and to and to just to share uh, i am 48 now so at the age of 45 yeah, i again. started the study <laughs> <laughs> so in 1996 i did my license fellowship and after 25 years in 2021 i did associate ship from insurance institute of india it was a professional exam by iii triple i when i i went i was the oldest in the room to appear for that exam and i was so nervous but believe me in my office also there are many colleagues who are appearing for that exam they didn't clear they were in the 30s and 20s but i cleared all the exams at one go mm-hmm. and right now, now i am pursuing fellowship i've already cleared seven subjects in wow. september i will be a fellow with insurance institute of india so there's no age to learning i think my learning hunger the hunger for learning and learn uh, and i seek opportunities and i'm curious uh, that has helped me 
stay updated in my life and i am hard working for sure there is no replacement for hard work तो वो तो आपको करना ही होगा आई एम हार्ड वर्किंग लेकिन वैसे पता नहीं है दैट यू आर हार्ड वर्किंग यस यस ग्रेट सो आई नो इट्स बीन अ टफ जर्नी फॉर यू एंड यू स्टिल फाइट बैक एंड यू डेफिनेटली टेक एंड एक्सेप्ट चैलेंजेस एंड यू डेफिनेटली आर अ फाइटर देयर इज नो डाउट अबाउट दैट एंड यू विल and you are already bouncing back in life and that that's really really commendable so never give up on yourself that is the most important thing and i'm sure you are already doing what you're supposed to do and that is why you are keeping yourself absolutely up to the mark and that's a great job that you're doing so thank you thank um, you coming from you coming from the founder director of an institute from there i did the course uh you know coming from a person whom i consider as my mentor uh, i think it's a, it's a moment of pride for me i'm i'm definitely thank proud so right, right now <laughs> thank you so, so much why do you think personal identity and financial freedom is very very important it may not be a need for everyone but i think it surely becomes a burning desire for many do you agree with that uh, yes ma'am totally agree i i don't think it's just a desire so uh, based on my experiences in life uh, i'll say that every woman should be financially independent and personal identity is important bhagwan ne aapko banaya hai so you are unique you are his creation right so aap aap mein hai kuch na kuch strengths kuch na kuch weaknesses bhi hote hain but you are unique in your own way so you have an identity agar hamari हमारा वजूद ही नहीं है हमारा अस्तित्व नहीं है हमारी अस्मिता नहीं है तो फिर तो जड़ ही नहीं है ना इफ यू डोंट हैव रूट्स तो आपका पेड़ कैसे फलेगा फूलेगा सो इट इज नॉट अबाउट इट्स नॉट अ फैशन स्टेटमेंट इट्स नॉट अ स्टेटस सिंबल कि अरे सब कोई कर रहे हैं इसलिए मुझे भी जॉब करना है मुझे भी फाइनेंशियली इंडिपेंडेंट होना है मेरे पैसे मेरे हैं फेमिनिज्म है नो आई थिंक लाइफ इज वेरी अनसर्टन यू नेवर नो वेन मेन इट मे टेक अ टर्न why why not be be prepared for it acquire some skill set acquire some degree some qualification whether it's music art dance stitching anything but a person should have especially a woman i feel should have one skill set which can help her sustain in life if there if the need arises she can live with dignity without begging borrowing and without being dependent on anyone so i think personal identity financial freedom is of Uh, financial independence is of paramount importance because you should know how to handle your finances you should be aware uh, so we board an aircraft every time we board an aircraft whether it's a one hour flight hamesha wo safety instruction deta hai fasten your safety belt so if the aircraft lands into the water then what are you supposed to do if the oxygen level comes down right it's it is not that that thing is going to happen but they're preparing we are preparing for the, the worst so for a one hour flight we prepare so much so life is such a long flight it's the longest and the most important flight of your life it's the most important ride so why don't you keep your safety belts ready if need arises be we'll fasten it pass mein to reh sakta hai na so i think personal identity uh, a woman or any person should never lose his or her identity that is the existence you should love the other than person the, you want just to interrupt shashi other than having a safety belt you yourself also become so confident about yourself you know that you have that safety belt right next to you so whenever you need to don it you can don it at any given point of time you don't have that insecurity that mai mar gayi to kya hoga mere bachcho ka kya hoga ya mere family mein koi bhi mishap ho gaya to mere bachcho ka ya meri family ka kya hoga so at least that sword is not hanging on your neck all throughout that you know what will happen if what if you remember the what if moment in tedx what <laughs> yes yes so wo what if na kabhi bhi jab talwar atak nahi hoti na gardan ke upar ke what if this happens what if that happens most women suffer with this what if situation in life ke what if this happens or what if this will happen so never have have this what if moment in your life and never have limiting beliefs in your mind that i cannot do this 
or I cannot do that. These limiting beliefs are only limiting in your mind. The moment you limit your mind, you become, you become limited. और जब आप लिमिटेड हो जाते हो ना तो आपकी सोच भी लिमिटेड हो जाती है आपके पोटेंशियल भी लिमिटेड हो जाता है आपका सब कुछ लिमिटेड हो जाता है फिर आप कुछ नहीं कर पाते एंड दैट इज वाई थिंक बिग नेवर अलाउ योर सेल्फ टू थिंक स्मॉल इट्स नॉट ओनली फॉर वेमेन इट इज फॉर मेन ऑल्सो देर आर मेन वेमेन एवरीबडी बिकॉज थॉट्स आर नॉट ओनली यू नो कन्फाइंड टू वेमेन्स माइंड thoughts are confined to anybody's mind so it can be a man or a woman anybody don't limit your thoughts don't limit your potential don't limit your mindset you are capable of far more things than you can ever imagine so jab ye bologe na ki are ye mere bas ka nahi hai to ye aap kar hi nahi paoge wo aap se kabhi hoga hi nahi to jab जब आप सोचोगे ना कि ये मैं कर सकती हूँ या कर सकता हूँ तभी आप कर पाओगे द कम्युनिकेशन दैट यू हैव विद योर सेल्फ एंड मोस्ट पीपल लेट मी टेल यू सच की मोस्ट पीपल डू नेगेटिव सेल्फ टॉक सेल्फ कम्युनिकेशन इज मोस्टली नेगेटिव दैट इज दाई पीपल डोंट राइज अब देर माइंड सेट दैट्स द बिगेस्ट problem which people have in their life and i was also among them their mindset and overcome that thought and rise above their mindset wo hi successful ho pate hain baaki koi nahi ho pata totally agree i know agree ma'am i was among those have this but huh. we fight through it and right. we are the ones who have become what we have become because comfort zone se bahar nikalna is not so easy we all know that but only when circumstances are such that we have to get out of that comfort zone only then we push our boundaries and we do things which we want to but we don't allow ourselves to do but now at least you and me we feel happy about it that jo nahi kar rahe the aur wo finally kiya to kitna acha lag raha right totally totally agree with you yeah absolutely fantastic so tell me shashi are you happy with your professional decisions and do they complement your personal life um, i'm totally uh, i'm so happy and i'm so satisfied because i think uh, what i am doing is totally uh, in sync with my personality with the person with the human being i am so i love helping people i love healing people and when i heal them i am healed myself so initially uh, i was also you know i was very negative as you shared i was in my comfort zone and i was afraid and i i had those limiting beliefs but of course i broke those shackles and i came out of that uh, with a lot of effort so uh, today whatever i am doing i am very happy with my decision so i think uh, when we face certain situations in life we we start cribbing and complaining we we curse uh, you know our destiny ki ye why me mere sath ye kyun hua but i i believe god has his own plans he has better things in store for us sometimes he's protecting us from something wrong that's going to happen and we believe are hame nahi mila at least i have seen that in my life till the time i was cribbing complaining i only had negativity the day i started being grateful and i started believing that whatever he is doing is for my good i think my life has taken a turn towards positivity so i always dreamt of having my own identity and today i have found a meaning to my life i i have found my own identity and i'm helping others do the same i have rediscovered myself so i am very happy and i'm as i said i am again repeating i'm indebted to icbi my family and my friends so uh, it's totally in sync with my personality so i i believe god couldn't have allowed it unless he had a purpose so my story is not that of a struggle but it is a story of his rescue it is a story of his blessings so uh, be grateful be uh, happy be positive 
is all I'll say. And uh, that's the mantra that I have uh, believed in and I have implemented. Uh, and here I am. I'm sure, I'm sure I have a long way to go, you know, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the miles before I sleep. And uh, after, uh, you know, creating my own identity, now I want to uh, give my hands to serve and my heart to love. So I want to empower my skills, my knowledge, my experience to others and bring a, and make a difference in their lives. That's my motto and I'm, I think I'm on the right path. Absolutely. And of course, the validation and the awards, the accolades, the appreciation, it, 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 it boosts my confidence that yes, I am on the right track. Absolutely. And today I am doing this Insta Live with you. <laughs> or kya <maang> <laughs> so isn't it a proof that yes, I am getting what I want and uh, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So one last question, uh, Shashi. What is your message to all those people who are aspiring to become soft skills professionals and uh, they, you know, they are contemplating to take a decision and getting out of comfort zone is a big challenge for them. So what would you like to say to them? So, uh, one thing I would like to say is uh, that before we try to transform others, the transformation is for ourselves. I think I have refined, I am a better individual. If I see my own photographs and my own uh, you know, personality five years back, six years down the line, I feel, oh my God, I was like So the transformation is for myself first and foremost. And then it is for others. So whether you become a trainer i think the soft skill course is for your own polishing for, for your own fitness for your own uh, you know refinement i believe and whoever is uh, on the verge of you know uh, they're not able to take decision i would say one thing ki zindagi na milegi dobara that's my favorite one of my favorite films that's one of my favorite dialogues and i believe in that completely mujhe lagta hai kal aayega ya nahi aaj mujhe jeena hai yahi pal hai isi of course, to swimming Maybe a trainer's So ICBI or any other institute can be that, that facilitator. So take that plunge, drive into it, swimming seek lenge. I'll, I'll just share uh, you know uh, an experience uh, just a month back. Uh, so I, bungee jumping was there in my bucket list since three years. So uh, last six, from January to uh, April, I was not uh, having very good uh, health. Uh, so I, my uh, thyroid increased, the dose was doubled. Uh, I was getting breathless and I had joint pain. So in four months, there was one feeling that had sunk in was that ki mera bungee jumping kabhi nahi hoga. Everest is another thing that is in my bucket list. But bungee jumping is not in my bucket list. And then there was a family trip. And we made it in such a way that we go to Rishikesh just, just for all these activities. So I was determined that this is not going to happen. I'm already 48. Joint pain is not going to deteriorate. Because Biological clock, hai. you cannot, uh, you know, fight against it. Your body is aging. So I better do it this time. Abhi nahi kya to kabhi nahi. Abhi aap sochi. Jis din mujhe bungee jumping jana, it started raining. There was a storm uh, announced. There was a cyclonic storm and it stopped. So I thought, okay, the whole family was going to the river Haridwar. Ja raha tha. Honestly, my mind was going to bungee jumping mein atka tha. in that aarti. I had no, I mean, there was no heart. I mean, the whole respect. God ko dete huye, you know, I, I'm, uh, I'm a God-fearing person. But mera tha pura, and I was so sad mein, hum bus mein, uh, we had a traveler. So I said, now this is not going to let me do the darshan and aarti. So three kilometers, we were, we were moving towards Haridwar. And we were on the road. The road was blocked for 45 minutes. The bus was standing there. Then my brother-in-law called me in the hotel. Mein thi, he had some official work. He said, Ki, uh, Shashi, the bungee jumping office has started. And he said, I didn't know that I was 3 km further. So I said, should I come back? He said, yes, come here. You will find an auto or something. Just see how it will come. I'm my 12-year-old nephew. I went with him. 
ड्राइवर को पूछा भैया कितना दूर है बोले एक किलोमीटर मैंने एक किलोमीटर तो वॉक कर लूंगी कोई बात नहीं है आई गॉट डाउन मैंने जीपीएस ऑन किया इट वॉज थ्री किलोमीटर एंड दैट वॉज वो ऊपर चढ़ते हैं ना पहाड़ की सो इट वॉज आप डाउन ऐसे करके था थ्री किलोमीटर एक बार तो मेरी हवाइया उड़ गई एंड देन इट वॉज अ हाई वे यू नो वॉट काइंड ऑफ अब मैंने अपने ब्रदर इन लोग को फोन किया यार एक एक वो ले लू क्या लिफ्ट ले लू किसी से बोला खबरदार है किसी से लिफ्ट नहीं लोगे आना है तो वॉक करके आओ नहीं तो बस वापस चल जाओ नाउ आई वॉज मिड वे में क्या करू आई वॉक दो थ्री किलोमीटर जाने के बाद वी है टू अरेन्ज अ टैक्सी नाइन ओ क्लॉक द बंजी जम्पिंग वॉज गोइंग टू क्लोज सेवन थर्टी आई रीच दैट प्लेस आई डिड दैट मुझे एक सौ सात फीट करना था बट इट क्लोज बिकॉज ऑफ स्टॉम फिफ्टी फाइव फीट वाला किया सिक्स फ्लोर से जम्प मारा so why i am sharing this story ki you know in spite of all odds all the adversities i had decided ki karna hai mai 3 kilometers walk karke aayi fir humne gaadi hire kiya kisi na kisi tarah hum paisa deke gaye but i did it i took it, it off my bucket list and i was on the top of the world it was my highest <laughs> high so take that plunge kar lo aaj kar lo kal ka koi bharosa nahi hai so uh, be fearless once you are fearless you'll be unstoppable as ma'am uh, shared i think i think it takes courage to own your own story and undeterred determination consistency to create your own story so go all out be your own story apni kahani hame likhni hogi koi aur nahi likhega agli baar mere bhi bungee jumping karne ke liye जो आपका हेल्थ परमिट करे ये नहीं है की मेरा ये सुन के आप सब बंजी जम्पिंग करें कल सो डेफिनेटली योर हेल्थ एंड आई वुड फाइन मेरे सारे चक्कर एंड ऑल दैट सब खत्म हो गए थे देन ओनली आई ट्राई दैट सो प्लीज डोंट opportunity and honor ma'am and uh, thank you once again icbi and all the teachers the found uh, rakesh sir also you and sham sir especially i i wish he was here because i think train the trainer was a life changing experience for me so sham sir wherever you are warm regards mitali ma'am krishna ma'am upasna ma'am all of them thank you so much thank you thank you so much bye thank you bye bye everyone